he fills out a request using plain language. This is a normal request. The computer could handle many other factors as well. Farmland could be measured in relation to good roads, or freight rates, or profits over cost per acre. The request is translated into code, and the code into punch cards. A similar request has been made before. The computer refers us to an existing file of statistics and maps. As our administrator looks at the file, he formulates another more complex question. These are the viable farms. But what about people who live in other areas? Are there possibilities for recreation, wildlife, or forestry? Where should the government invest in development? What is the best land use in each area? What are the human resources, education, income? The computer indicates the tapes on which all this information is stored. Now it will compare and analyze all the factors at a speed that human hands could never match. The administrator no longer has to make decisions by guesswork. He has access to all the available information concerning land. He can get it in map form, on any scale, instantly. The computer can replot these maps at any scale with the accuracy of oceanographic charts. But even when a map has been prepared, the administrator can study it and alter his request to get the combination of information best suited to his needs. The information he has received suggests where the problem lies. One of the three counties has good land, but its farmers have very low incomes. Why? He needs more detail as soon as possible. He starts to ask what information we have about the area. I'd like to take another look at those three counties in Ontario, uh, Omar, Otter, and Birch County. Okay. Can you give me the, uh, the enumeration areas for Birch County? Yes. That's too small. Um, can you blow it up a bit? Yes.
Right. I'd like, uh, we're going to need some information. Can you set up an enum the enumeration area data block? Okay. Good. Um, and how about the number of farms? Okay. What's this W36 here? Well, there was only one farm in 37, so it was included in 36 for confidentiality. Uh, could you uh, give me gross average gross sales on the... I think that's on here. Column two? That's not very good, is so, it? So, pretty low. Low-income farms on good land? Are there too many farms? Are they too small to be viable? What about the capability? How many, uh, how many farms can the, uh, could the area support? What uh, input assumption? Oh, assumption P. Okay. Uh, that's less than, less than half of the present number. Yes. Any, uh, let's have a look at the uh, education, uh, average level of uh, education, and keep the uh, figures in column one. Okay. You? He calls on census data. Now he knows the size of the problem. Well, Can the government develop other resources in the area? Could you give me the uh, forest capability? For all three counties? Yes, for all three counties. Okay. Hmm. The recreation? Put them together. Uh, okay. Yes, that looks quite promising. The problem is not solved yet. Much work needs to be done. But for the first time, much of the information he needs is accessible and useful. The data is in the hands of the decision makers.